How's it going everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of the best and most popular VPNs out there, NordVPN. Now, I've been both testing and using Nord for quite a while now, and I wanna talk a little bit about what it has to offer, areas where it outshines some of its competitors, as well as areas where it could use a little bit of improvement. And I'll also be giving a bit of a brief on what VPNs are and why you need to get yourself one in this day and age. And so, if you wanna know a little bit more about VPNs or wanna see if NordVPN is the right pick for you, stick around because I'll go over all of that and much more in this video. But of course, if at any point you'd like to just check out NordVPN for yourself, I'll leave all the useful links, including a special discount in the description down below. All right, so if you're not familiar with the concept of VPNs, they're basically pieces of software that you download on your devices in order to protect your internet traffic, change your IP address, and hide your activity from your ISP and anyone else trying to snoop on you. So in terms of importance, I would compare it to like having an antivirus, if not maybe even more important than having one. And that's because these days, like something as simple as connecting to a public Wi-Fi network at an airport or a cafe could possibly get your data stolen if there happens to be some maliciousness on that network at the same time. It could even be the network administrator who's stealing people's data. So let's say you're connected to a cafe Wi-Fi and you did a bank transaction. If you're not using a VPN, they can basically tell what you did and could even steal your log and credentials. But of course, the benefits of having a VPN are not just limited to protecting your data. Like you can use VPNs to access movies or shows or other content that's not available in your country. You can also access the internet freely in censorship heavy countries and even torrent safely if you're into that. Granted, the extent to which you can do these things highly depends on what VPN you're using because some VPNs can set bandwidth limitations on torrenting or not have enough countries or optimized servers to support streaming. And maybe in some cases, they will actually put your personal information at risk, which leads us to the star of today's video, NordVPN. Now, Nord is what I consider a well-rounded value VPN because it can do pretty much everything I mentioned previously, but better and even add more value to their subscription that you won't find elsewhere. So how, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at all that Nord has to offer, starting with the privacy policy. Now, I mentioned earlier some cheap or free VPNs would try to make a couple bucks selling off your personal info to third-party advertisers and even data brokers, but that's not the case with NordVPN because they have like a strict no-logs policy where they don't store, sell, or share your data whatsoever. They even switch their servers to be RAM only, meaning that these servers can't physically store any data and whatever is left on the server would be wiped out with every system reboot. And the cool thing about Nord is that they don't just claim to not log any data, because let's be real here, anyone could do that. But they went the extra mile by going through several audits carried out by independent auditing firms like Deloitte and Cure53, all of which came back with overwhelmingly positive results that prove their commitment to their no logs policy. But the cherry on top of all of this is that NordVPN operates in the privacy friendly Panama outside of the Eyes Alliance. You know, these are countries that store and exchange user data. Yes, these things exist. All right, now let's talk a little bit about its ease of use. Out of all the VPNs I tried, NordVPN was pretty simple and most intuitive to pilot. So that's because it has this interactive map where you can just hover over any continent and zoom in to find the country you wanna to connect to and just click on one of the pins in that country to connect to a VPN server. This map is like super useful if you want a visual representation that would allow you to see which server is closest to you or closer to whatever country that you're trying to connect to. Like there are plenty of servers to choose from because they have over 6,400 servers, which is the largest number of servers I've seen offered by a premium VPN. And it also has the largest list of countries because their servers are spread across 111 locations globally. So having access to this many countries translates into having access to a lot more international content. Besides that, Nord has recently added India to their list of countries. So if you didn't know, it's very difficult to find a secure VPN that has Indian servers, especially one that would allow you to stream Indian exclusive content, uh, Disney Hotstar, Z5, those kind of things. Which leads us to our next point, streaming. Uh, I'll admit Nord is one of the best, if not the best VPNs for streaming shows. So while I was testing this out, I pretty much got tired of digging deep for a server that wouldn't allow me to stream certain Netflix libraries or any libraries as a matter of fact. And all of its servers are optimized for streaming and can access most of the major streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, etc. And with the recent addition of an Indian server, this means that you can now watch exclusive 
Indian content like Disney Hotstar, Sony LIV, and Z5. Now, let's talk about speed and performance. Yet again, Nord is like right ahead of the competition in this regard and can be considered the fastest VPN out there thanks to its fastest performing protocol, Nordlings. But before we talk about the speed test results, it's important to note that you will experience a drop in speed regardless of which VPN you go with. However, how much it drops in speed is what separates good VPNs from lousy ones. And any drop between 10 to 25% is considered awesome. And even up to 40% is still considered good even though that's insane. But with Nord, however, there were times where I even reached 8% speed drops, which is unheard of. And the highest it has ever gotten was 25%, which is when I tried to connect to a faraway server to test its capabilities. So this speed has allowed me to stream shows in 4K and maintain a pretty low ping while gaming with a VPN on. And there were even times where I was able to get ping lower than my base ping while playing games like Valorant and Warzone. All I had to do was find out where my game server was and connect to a VPN server located near that server. So if you want to try this too, just make sure you have Nordlinks on because it'll get you the best speed results. So for torrenting, NordVPN allows it without any bandwidth limitations, like I mentioned earlier. Actually, they even support torrenting activities because they have peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers optimized for exactly this. Though this doesn't mean that other servers don't support torrenting, they all do. It's just that you can use these specialty servers if you want a little bit more security while doing anything related to torrenting. As for other specialty servers, there are dedicated IP servers that would give you an IP address exclusive to you, which really comes in handy since there would be no load on the server, which results in faster speeds. And it's practically more secure since you're the only one using that IP address. There are also double VPN servers that would connect you to two VPN servers instead of one for double the security. So going back to torrenting, Nord also has a bunch of other features that would really help out. So for starters, there's a kill switch that would immediately sever your internet connection if for whatever reason you accidentally disconnected from the VPN server. This would leave no holes in your defenses and would basically stop anyone from snooping in on your data the second you're not connected to a VPN server. There's also this split tunneling feature that you can use to route whichever apps you want through the VPN and which ones operate normally. So for example, I personally use this feature to route my torrenting software through the VPN tunnel while I'm playing video games normally. Like this would protect my torrenting activities without actually needing to connect every single app to the VPN. That being said, this feature is not available on iOS or Mac devices, though it's not entirely on Nord since there aren't any VPNs that offer this feature for these two platforms due to the restrictive nature of Apple devices. So basically it's an Apple issue, not really a Nord issue. Aside from these two features, Nord is also loaded with other bonus features that can be pretty useful. For example, you have the threat protection feature, which acts like a mini antivirus for your devices. And it can basically block ads and malicious malware and protect you while you browse the web and scan files you download to detect and eliminate any threats before they can damage your device. You also get to customize your DNS to improve your speed and add a layer of security to your activities as well as the dark web monitor that will keep an eye on the dark web for any data leaks and alert you if any of your personal information such as your email or passwords have been linked. Other than that, you also get a mesh net feature. I told you there's a lot of features. This lets you create a private network connecting multiple devices over the internet, no matter where they're located. And finally, Nord is available on pretty much every single platform and allows you to secure up to 10 devices with one subscription. So that's a nice thing to have. And and you also, of course, have the 30 day money back guarantee. So you can pretty much test drive Nord for 30 days. And if you aren't satisfied with the service, you can contact their 24 seven live chat support and get yourself a refund. So the bottom line is, if you're looking for the fastest, most well-rounded VPN that offers a whole lot of bonus features at a pretty reasonable price, then I highly recommend you go for NordVPN. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check the links out in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.